Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Blood Ball with our adventures with the Verats as we try and get the Chaos Cup. Currently we have first of Group 1, so we're doing alright, we're doing alright. This week we are against Nurgle, and Nurgle are pretty nasty. I have played as Nurgle in my other Let's Play, and they can completely wreck teams. They're not particularly fast or dodgy, but um, they certainly pack a punch. Now... Their big guy has block, Frack slime bag here, he always has block, which is, of course, not good. Not good at all. And their noodle warriors all have strength 4, apart from this guy with strength 5. Um, and also he has block, claw, and mighty blow. He is ridiculous. <laughs> I do not like him. Mighty blow, mighty blow. So, we want to keep away from these guys. Um, Pestigods are also pretty nasty, although you don't have block. Oh, neither do you. You do. And you do. The block, uh, these guys, uh, the Pestigors, they have horns, so they're good at blitzing. So if we get close to them, that removes their main sort of attribute, if you like. And only two of them have block. And the Rotters tend to make up the rest of the team. Foul appearance, smash knee. Foul appearance, oh, foul appearance, plus one strength. Oh, so none of the... Okay, so, they're strong. Nurgle Warriors and the Beast Nurgle all have block, but... Their team lacks block, so, and, and the Rotters, I think we can possibly, um, you know, go against to um, sort of like thin their lines, but they will start with very few of them, and they'll be like Nuggle Warriors and Pestigors and stuff. Um, so it's going to be tough, but if I can limit the damage done by these guys, I should be okay. Uh, as far as we go with our team roster, we have everybody just fine. Yep, we've got everybody sorted. Mickey Rock is in the prime of condition. There's nothing wrong with him at all as we prepare the match. Yeah, there's nothing else to do, is there? Let's just do that. And very similar in terms of team value. So that's fine. So nope. So no inducements. We'll just go ahead and start. And as I say, try and do our best to limit the damage they can do. They have eight rerolls. Eight rerolls. That is kind of freaking ridiculous, I gotta say. So they got one reroll every turn. We have three. Hmm. But we should hopefully get some rerolls because we have more assistant coaches and more cheerleaders. So that should hopefully maybe give us four a turn if we're lucky. You know, if we're really lucky. Uh, sorry, no, four, eight, four and a half. But yeah, we'll see how we go, basically. I have a cunning plan, actually. It just popped into my head, and it is quite cunning. We're back here again in the Norse place. So I think the bugs just occurred again, where it's like, no, you're going to be in the Norse place for, like, ever. I will think about installing that bug. In fact, I may well just write it down. Hang on. I just made a note of that, because I keep forgetting. Uh, Tails, obviously. Oh. Let's receive the ball, and so we're not on the defensive the whole time. Hopefully do okay. So I have a very, I have a pretty cunning plan. You know what my plan is? I'm going to tell you what my plan is. Um, how, how about this for a plan? I've noticed none of them really have tackle. So what about this for a, for a plan? How about putting my gutter runners in the front? I'm receiving the kickoff cost, which is good. Because what I can just do is dodge these guys away. Um, and if we set up like... I need to go any weaver on the pitch. Let's see. I'll leave Sam off. And I don't need Sean. So we'll have you, we'll have you, Mickey Rock. Again, my guarding players. I've already got two in my Storm Vermin. So I'll leave um, Sam and Mickey off the pitch for now until I'm... lose a few players, and I probably will, quite honestly. So we'll, we'll have our two throwers back here. And... Um, you know, we'll have a Storm Vermin over here, and a Storm Vermin over here, along with our you know, Jet Lee and Van Damme. Okay, and we're receiving, so I actually want to, you know, push forwards a little bit. So, yeah, hmm. And Sigourney so Weaver, I'm going to put you sort of with Arnie-ish. We'll have you two sort of here. And we'll have you two at the back there. And we'll just see how this goes. A bit of a different sort of plan. Yeah, all right. Kick it to me. Let's get this ball rolling. A blitz. Oh, they get a free turn. I have not planned for this. <laughs> he's going straight after Arnie. What? Oh, no, he's not. Okay, go there. 
And there you go. Dodging everything, so uh, he can't really knock me down. This doesn't alter things too much, except he's right next to me now, isn't he? And, you know, Alright, so the worst possible turnover event, well not turnover event, kickoff event, could have possibly been as happened. The ball is going all the way back there as well, so it was a good kick. Um, so this is not the best of starts. Not the best of starts at all. So, Michelle, you can go and get the ball. That's probably the best idea. Well, what I could do is get it with you, come here, throw it to you. You've got some agility to be able to catch it and then maybe run up here. Um, and try and get down this route, down here. The only problem is him. Um, I'm going to try and dodge you guys away. That's sort of my plan. I can dodge you to here. And then, so going to be gets two dice on him, so I'll do that. I get two dice there, but that guy has block, which is a bit of a shame, quite honestly. Um, these aren't the easiest dodges to make, because I'm dodging into tackle zones, but I need to get them out of there. And I didn't intend to have players behind me before I'd even moved. So, you know, my plan, I think, was pretty sound. Hmm. And, of course, this Nurgle warrior. Okay, he doesn't. he's not the plus one strength guy. So, I'm, yeah, I'm seeing the, the startings of a plan here shaping in my head. But it does involve leaving you guys in there for now. And going to get the ball. That worked. And then passing the ball. Nice. Okay, sweet. Right, that's good. And that's a, a star player point for uh, Mila. So now she only needs another six to get block. And that's what I wanted to do. And now what I'm thinking is, if I move her there, bear with me. Bear with me. If I move her there next to the Nurgle Warrior, and I move you there, then Jet Li gets two dice on this guy. And it's only a push, which is a damn shame. I would wanted more, to be honest, but I'm going to put no. Um, so yeah, now we've got a bit of a cage sort of thing there. If I blitz Arnie into here, he might even get in this square. And so they're going to have to block him to get rid of him. But I'll do this first. And we're knocking down because Sigourney's awesome. Nah, I want to leave her free. Uh, we don't have a whole lot here. I may well go with that though. That Pestigod doesn't have block and I do. So if I block him, then that frees up you to probably just go and cover that rotter. But for now, we're going to do this blitz. And... See, I would really prefer him in there, but of course, if I push him there, I get a really crappy uh, block the next time. So I am going to just make do with that. Is that an injury? That was a... Oh, goodness. It's a stun. Okay, that's good. So he's out for the next turn. And I am going to do this. And that's nice. So they're together. Now he's got, of course, more strength than me, but there's not a lot I can do with that. And we're putting you against him sort of a waste. Because that's just a one all sort of thing. But you don't have block and I do. So I have the advantage. So I am going to do that. And I think, honestly, I might leave these guys in there to deal with these Nurgle Warriors. Because they're going to have to roll a six to uh, knock them down, pretty much. And I know that's really sort of, like, bad because they'll get really, you know, badly injured. Um, <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Um... Uh, I just think it's a really bad idea. I can see I can dodge them out now. I can put them like around here and stuff. And I could even like So you're ridiculous, aren't you, for your dodging. So I could just dodge you right up there and then maybe score next turn. Um but I need to keep the ball. And the beast of Nurgle's like in the way of that, because he can just go and Mash into Mila. So I don't think dodging round here will do a lot of good. I've only got 30 seconds, like, to decide. Um, you guys can't even reach there, really. So you're not going to be blitzing in. Uh, I don't even have guard. Alright, I'm going to try and... Hang on. Uh, go up there! Ah, stupid idea. Alright, I didn't want... I don't want him next to him, basically. I don't want that. Okay. That'll do. I know if I'm next to him, but he doesn't have claw. Oh, God, I shouldn't have done that either. He's got the... Okay, there we go. Right. So 
So he's blitzing the wrong direction. He doesn't even bother getting the ball. And well done. You're holding up three of them now. For now. Okay, there he is. Flop, flop, flop. Yeah. Not so brilliant. Oh, what I should have done is put the gutter runner there so I could just pass it straight to him, run up there, and then sort it sort of thing. Ah, dodging rotter. Very nice. That is only a dodge roll away. That's three plus. I could re-roll it, but I've already used one to get him up there. So, you know, I could dodge here. Get out of the way, because this is not what I want. Because um, I can put him in there. Now I can just have you run up there. It's one dodge roll away, and then, you know, the pass is more or less certain. It's not Nothing is certain in Blood Bowl, but, you know, it, there's a good chance of it working. Yeah, I'll have you come down here. No. Uh, we don't have a whole lot going, really. I'm going to do that because I'm getting swamped. I'm basically just getting swamped. I need you to do my dodge roll. Tentacles, of course, will stop me from doing that. I need a six to get away. So that screwed me over, basically. I need a six, so that's not going to work. And I uh, don't have any blocks at all here. And now that I've done that, I can't pass it or anything. So he's got the ball next turn. I can only hope to dodge him away and hope that it bounces to him. Yeah, not so good. Put you next to this rotter then. Uh, you're not going to get anything there. I could, of course, move you here so you get plus one dice on this pestigal, which is probably all you can hope for. Ah, well. Yeah, it's all going a bit wrong. It's all going a bit pear-shaped. I knew that was going to go in there. It was a bad idea from the start. I knew the, the Beast of Nurgle would hold my thrower up. Um, but then I momentarily forgot. Oh, okay. He hasn't actually managed to get the ball, but I need to get my ball carrier away from the Beast of Nurgle. Push me. And that's easier said than done. Yeah, so you, you're you just right there. Uh, yeah, not, not brilliant. Okay, so he's not knocking me down at least. I can't even remember Annie getting knocked down, to be honest with you. I can't remember that. And he's not going anywhere because this rotter's in the way. Unless, you know, I make it amazing. I need to get him in there because really, this is, like, awful. This is terrible. I do have a one dice block on him, strangely enough. So I could do that. Try and knock him down. Um, this is, like, in the worst situation I could imagine it being in, really, to be honest. Um, okay, we'll stand you up. So I might just have to go for a really risky throw. Like, to someone up here. Just going to have to try and eject it, basically. See if Arnie can stand up, because he's not... Well, I could try and dodge, you know, block you. And we'll do that first and get him on his feet. And I really should be able to deal with him. Yes, use that. Use Bleed Juggernaut, yes. Okay, we knocked him down. And that is a stun. And I get one dice in here. We do have Wrestle, though, so that's kind of nice. So that Nurgle Warrior is sort of out of it now. I'm going to try and do that. It's not impossible because of all the tackle zones. It's impossible. And I can't block that bloody thing, except with her, strangely enough. I got absolutely nothing. Three dice against there. Uh, I could always pass it to the Gutter Runner. Pass it to the Gutter Runner. Run out here. All these players are tied up in there. The gutter runner still won't be able to bloody move though, will he? But it'll be e harder to get the ball off him. I'm going to try and do it. But it's... Oh, God. Not that way. Not going to work. Oh, tentacles. Oh, wow. Nice. Sweet. Okay, I didn't really expect that to work, to be perfectly honest. And uh, we can bring you down here to, uh, as a protective shield. <laughs> kind of escaped there. Kind of escaped there. And I'm not going to do that. We're going to get hit hard here. We're going to hit, get hit really hard. Unless he tries to dodge loads of players away. If he gets a turnover straight away, I'd be quite willing for that to happen. No. Oh. Okay, pistol guys are pretty fast. Well, relatively for an Urgle team. Especially with that movement of, a, of seven. But yeah, you, protective shield worked. And 
thankfully, Mighty Blow didn't do anything there. Oh, you're going for it twice, you jammy. Oh, that didn't really matter too much, to be honest. Um, because I, I can still have an escape route out here. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, hmm. What the hell? <laughs> God, about Mila. Maybe it's for the best for her, though, you know. Um, so I can go out here, uh, throw it, catch it, run and score with Nicholas. I need to get out of this situation. This is a bad situation to be in. It's very bad. We've been outstrengthed everywhere. Mm. I'm just going to go for the handoff. You know. I was all safe and stuff. Yeah, let's just score. I could... No. No, no, let's not. Let's just get that touchdown. Alright, so... I mean, even with Skaven, you know, I mean... You, you, you think you have no chance of scoring, and then they let you score. That's the brilliant thing about Skaven. They're just a bit ridiculous. So, the plan. The plan. Yeah, now I'm kicking off, so I need Sean on here, so I might take Mila off, because she's got her throw in, thank you, so you're going to you're gonna kick it, man, um, to be quite honest, I think that the, got a runner in the front, might be, might be a good idea, again, it might not be, might be the worst thing I've ever tried, if we put them sort of towards the sides, <laughs> Of course, dodging away from the Beast of Nurgle is not the easiest thing to do. Um, so I might put them there. <laughs> I've got three players in the line of scrimmage. So that works, right? Um, I kind of want the Dauntless because of the lack of strength. So again, we're going to leave our guarding players off because... Even though we could have sort of used them. I don't know, it's difficult striking the right balance. You know what? I think we might have to... Uh, I'm not after Garni on because, in fact, I might even sacrifice Sean because even though you know it's the kick, um, the rest of the you know tentacles and diving tackle are not going to be dodging away that much. I would have thought, but I don't want them in here, so we're going to put our guarding players and stuff on the flanks. Where's the other guy? And we can have our tacklers there. Well, actually, I might just set up like that. Uh, this is a bit of a strange cut, you know. <laughs> I haven't really set up like this before. Um, but yeah, get my guiding players on the flank so they can help each other. Uh, two tackling players, that, well, two dauntless players, basically. And this, this is my blitzing line, so I can blitz them in. Hopefully my gutter runners can survive. <laughs> oh, just do it. i got to kick it right in the middle. Right in the middle. So it didn't go scattering off. Let's see where the hell it goes. A riot. Okay, it's gone. Uh, oh, great. So, the uh, clock's gone for one turn, which helps me greatly. That's not a bad kick, really. Because he doesn't have any sure hands or anything, so getting the ball is going to be quite an issue for him. Oh, yes, that guy's got sure hands. Bloody hell. There you go. And plus one agility. So, there's your ball carrier. And block and pass. Hmm. And there's a pest to go with catch, isn't there? That probably explains the lack of do uh, block because they decided that to do that sort of thing. All right, you form your cage. I am completely happy with that. I have no issues with that whatsoever. You go up there and form your cage. That is perfect. Thank you so much. No! Okay, here we go. This is, uh, this is where it gets a bit messy. Okay, looky, 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 looky. Looky, 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 looky. Um... Both for me and for him. He's going for it twice with Nurgle Warriors and stuff. Okay, that worked really well. Hello. Yeah, again, they can't really knock me down. Hello. Alright, so we'll just deal with these guys, because, you know, he's just put himself where he can get blocked. So, uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Push you there, then. The most of this. There we go. I won't move up from that. Um, so we'll dodge you guys away. Hopefully, you'll all just form a massive cage up there. That would be great if you did. And actually go massively into defensive mode here. 
I should move him around here as well. Um, yeah, let's just make some tackle zones. <laughs> make some tackle zones. You're great there because you've got, of course, um, stand firm. All right. Try and get rid of this rotter. Although I don't want to blitz constantly with Arnie because other people need the injuries. So that's nice. Okay. Uh, so I'll probably blitz with you. I don't know what these guys are going to do in this situation, whether they'll go and join the cage and there'll just be this mass clump of Nurgle going one square a turn, which is fine with me. So yeah, they're all free now, so they can't get any extra blocks, of course. Now I don't have any... Um, of course, this guy... Just, ah, I'm alright with that. Well, that was, that was just a little, little poke. Uh, we'll move you back down here. And yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm alright. Delaying tactic. Okay, he's gonna blitz over here. He really doesn't like the gutter runners. Wasted his blitz on the gutter runner. And that was the guy with, yeah, mighty blow on claw and everything. The claw doesn't actually matter too much. He needs the plus one strength when it comes to the gutter runner. Because the claw breaks armor and gutter runners don't have any. So the only thing to worry about is blocking mighty blow. Um as far as gut run to go. They the piece of really stupid, which is nice. Um yeah, the ball carriers move forward about two squares. So you just keep doing that, man. I am and if this happens next turn, that's fine, because it's just it's mitigating the damage pretty much. This guy can crush me. He can just, you know, Hulk smash. Which is quite appropriate because these guys kinda look a little bit you know, hulkish, apart from obviously the tentacles coming out of their faces. Um but yeah, I just I just have to play this way to stop them from utterly destroying me. To be quite honest. Now this guy's let himself in for a little bit of a you know, I mean he's, he's kinda of surrounded there. I can surround him with cover. <laughs> While these guys hold up the cage. And Annie's right in the way there, so I don't have to move him. So we'll just put you over here. And yeah, we'll just basically just maintain our tackle zones. And, uh, yeah, well, we're going to say hello to this guy. So, yeah, I'm not, I think I'm just going to have to blitz with, yeah, we'll blitz with Mickey. And we'll put you, yeah, we'll put you there. I don't want that go around to be in the way. We'll blitz with Mickey, that's two dice. I'm going to re-roll that. We've got two left. It's turn seven. Foul up here and stop me uh, blocking there, but not for long. I'll push him, push him there. I won't move up. And we'll just move you over here somewhere. So now you're running against Nick. Okay. Right. So really just... Yeah, he's got the one blitz to make, which he'll, you know, do against the player. And I can't really stop that. But yeah, that's that done now. So that's his turn over. Now we can do is just move forward two squares again. Reform his cage and that'll be it. So this is sort of my plan for next turn, by the way. So feel free to skip until the end of the video. <laughs> where you can see if anything happened. Um, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but... It's it's going to be the case of... Uh, this is how I'm going to play it, because I'm going to have to. I am simply going to have to play it like this. Because this guy is ridiculous with his... Strength 4 players. Strength five, two Strength 5 players. Um, and his Strength 4 players plus with all the mighty blows he's got on there. Really nasty. I was really lucky to score that touchdown, I've got to say, but you could have a bit of luck in this game. So this guy has, yes, so if I move you guys up there, I form a wall, and I get a two dice block with uh, Sam. And I might just, uh, and because that won't be a blitz, I can then try and reform this and blitz him with Sly. So we'll do that. I'll do this one first. Nice. Nice roll. You get back over there. Um, Alright, so... <laughs> Got a <to> run out. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Um, yeah, Sly, you have a go. You have a crack at him. Again, the one, but I can re-roll that. And then I get two red skulls. No, I don't, but... Uh, Alright, let's push him over there and not move up. Let's just get rid of you. Uh, we'll put you back there, then. 
And we'll have you solve my cover. Let's see. Just back here somewhere. Where would I least like him to blitz? Over here, I think. Uh, so I'll sort of put you behind there to dissuade him from blitzing in this direction. Tommy's got his armor value of 4, which beats Van Damme's, so if they blitz that way, so be it. Let's have a look and see what he does. Okay, he's, yeah, he's going that way. I'm going to put no and hope that he wakes up next turn, obviously. Because now I can run through here, which is what he'll do, but... Oh, no, he won't. No, he won't. So that was a bit unfortunate, really, you know, but I, I couldn't really do a whole lot about that. I could possibly move Danny around there, I guess. Benefit of hindsight and all that. And the, the Beast of Nurgles has been really stupid. I'd prefer that happened at a place where it actually, you know, does matter. Because right now it doesn't. Because he's just forming his cage and then that's it. So we'll, we'll just have fingers crossed that, uh, that our Storm Vermin, who's Tony Jones, will wake up. 50-50 chance of that, of course, because I don't have any inducements. No Bloodweiser babes or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. Half time. So it's quite an important thing, this, see if he wakes up. And you can't re-roll it either. Not that I would, but of course it doesn't count for either half, so... He has woken up. Okay, that's nice. So, we're going to do the same thing, I think. Because it worked so well. We're going to do this exactly the same setup. Exactly the same setup. We have guarding players to bring in, if I so wish. I mean, Sam's only one injury away from... from um, leveling up, which is why I might want to re replace maybe, um... I've replaced Sigourney Weaver with him, and then maybe he can get, like, a nice block on one of these Pestigors or Rotters who don't have block, and then, uh... I'll throw in there, because she has block. Um... I don't want you. It feels like we're missing someone. I mean, not, are we? Let's just see. So, three got a runners there on the front line. Storm them in there. And there. Uh, I don't want you there, Mila. Two tackling players there. So yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to have our garden players on the side. That's right. Okay. Now I remember what I was doing. So we'll leave the girls out. And uh, apart, from, apart from Michelle. And uh, actually, yeah, we'll pull up something like this. Because uh, we're kicking off. And... We don't, need, we don't need Sean either with his kick, because we can just kick it right into the middle. This Pestigar can pretty much reach anywhere anyway, so... So hopefully it goes towards the back, because that's pretty much why it looks like it is going to. Perfect defense. I can reorganize my play into another legal defense, which means I can't dodge away, which is a shame. I would really like the other one, where you can move one, one square, because I just move all these players back. But I think I'm fine with that. I mean, he hasn't really... Actually, what the hell? Has he just completely just reorganized my line for me? How would you do that? Um, put an offending guy over there, actually, because now I've got a fending guy defending that flank and a stand firming guy attacking, uh, defending that flank. If he's going to blitz, he's going to blitz, and there's, again, not a lot I can do about that. Um, well, actually, what we can do, because I spotted that, is we can form here, so that makes it a little bit more difficult for him to blitz against this, plus... Yeah, two of us have guard. So, okay. Interesting defense. Uh, yeah, that's all right. You know, went where I kicked it pretty much, went where I aimed. Well, oh, he's going to move that. So he's, I'm sure he's going to blitz down here. But he's going to have to really commit. And in doing so... Oh, boy. he's re Yeah, he's really close. I mean, I'm, that's going to be very difficult to hold him up. I'm sure that Beast Nurgle's coming for me. It's not. It's going to move backwards. Okay. He hasn't blitzed yet. I think he's going to do it down. No. No. Never mind. You never know. I'm going to go for it twice, needlessly. Actually, it wasn't really, because I could have got around there. It's going to be very difficult to defend this. Oh, no! Well, I... I yes. Okay. Wow. Well, that was the risk I took with that. Um, so he's off. Move there. Because, of course, with the mighty blow and everything, just trying to uh, mitigate the damage didn't really work. So now I've got to stop this. If I go into him, 
I'm dead. I mean, what I can do is try and get... If I only blitz is there sort of thing. You know, i got to hit him hard pretty much if I do. But of course, because I'm trying not to get into blocking situations, it's a pretty difficult thing to achieve. Um, so I don't want to keep you... Um, that sort of warned me off. I mean, I could... I can defend like this for maybe half a turn. Uh, sorry, half a... Half a half. Four turns or so, but... He's going to get down there, isn't he? So... This rot is like annoying me, and he's got plus one strength, which is also quite annoying. That is really annoying, actually, because, uh, yeah, because now it's only one dice block if I move one person up, and I don't have room. One, two, you know, so I'm going to have to blitz with Arnie. Which I don't particularly want to do, because. Although he does have Mighty Blow, so it increases the chances of me hurting him, but I didn't. Um. If I go that way, I might try and hit this Nuggle Warrior. Plus one strength, though. So I'm going to have to devote a lot of people into here. Um, although, if I do get rid of one, you know. No, it's... I don't want to go backwards, either. You know, it's really difficult. Okay, we'll go there. We'll sort of tie up that Pestigal there. That's what we'll do. The rest of us will casually sort of like advance. Something like this. And again, I don't have. Alright, hang on. Something like that. Okay, again, you've got plus one movement, but you don't have block, so. You're going to have him. And Sly. Not the easiest thing to get out of that, but he does have two heads, so it's plus one to dodge roll, so that will, you know, stop the, well, or at least lessen the tackle zone penalty. And he gets a re-roll. Hmm. Let's slot you in behind there. Ah, I'm just going to leave him there. I know. Bad idea. But he's tying two of them up, potentially. If they fail their dodges, um, you know, blocks on him. I know it's a, it's a bad idea, but... You can, to be fair, level uh, gut runners up pretty quickly if the worst comes to the worst. Hello. Okay. There goes Arnie. His lack of block, once again, hurts. His both down would have, you know, just meant that. Meant nothing. And he was stunned as well. Oh, we had to use a reroll for that, but he's got plenty of them. And the game is freezing. And he did something bad there. I'm going to restart the recording in case that messed up with the sound syncing. So, the ball is here. He's got two. He's got two Nurgle Warriors guarding this flank. And uh, I, got, I can't do anything around here, really. Oh, he tried to dodge away there, so that was worth it. You do both have guard. So if I put you there, that's really not going to be anything, though, because you will get a bonus. If I get the ball off him, it'll be really nice. And now you're stuck against him. I mean, I could devote players to try and get him. I can get a one-dice block. Where's... Uh if I blitz in there, with you there, then that's possibly a two dice block on the Beast of Nurgle. If I don't, if I don't do that, then I've just committed three players against the Beast of Nurgle and, um, you know, that's, that's not so great. I don't think I'm going to try and do this, though. Because they'll just get pushed away. We'll delay him for another turn, of course, if I do that. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put him there. He's got, um... Well, so there's that. 
and then I can... Hmm, but then I sacrificed this block, but I can... Uh, you've got Dauntless. Okay, actually, sweet. Um, this is a bad idea. Such a bad idea. Um, Alright, let's do this one first. Don't stand out that's a two-dice block, but I don't mind. It's only a push. Actually, we'll have that. No. Okay, and then I'll do this. Dauntless didn't work, so I'm, I am going to reroll that. Nice, right, okay, we push him down. I really wouldn't want to push him there, though. may well be worth it, to be honest. I'm going to do it. Nope, but I didn't get a foul either. So, no, sorry, I didn't get a sent off. And this, again, I'm leaving because he's taking those two out of the game. For now. He stood up, and that's bad, obviously. Of course, I can just block him again next turn unless he moves people up, which he will. Oh, no, he's got to have to move him back to deal with these. So that wasn't too bad, actually. I'm holding him up. Of course, you don't have stand firm, which I would have really preferred. Because now he's just pushed him away. Although now... His cage is looking a bit thin. He's committing people down here. Which is inevitable. And he's basically going to smash someone. And, and he's... Okay. Hmm. It's nice. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this. What do you say there? It's just not a spell. I don't think Nurgle care. They shouldn't care. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, good. Go for the other one. Oh. Alright, okay. Could have been worse. And yeah, he's he's kept those two out of there. So you're doing good, Jason. You're doing good. I might just stand you up and slot you in there again. Put him in the way. I'm going to do that. Maybe I shouldn't have done it first because he's got to dodge. But he can dodge. He's very good at dodging. So I'll do that again. And yeah, he might get hurt. He might get killed. But as I say, gutter runners are very easy to level up. Hmm. Now if I blitz here, I can get Arnie next to their ball carrier. I can shove you in there as well. And you've got to stand firm. The Beast of Nurgle's tied up down here. Suddenly, I'm bogging his ball carrier down. Nice. Uh, I want you to go up there, please. And now I might actually get some decent blocks on these guys. Yeah, I don't want to touch his ball carrier from there. That leaves you free to run. No, I thought you could go around the outside. Uh, no, because it's that guy. Um, he's not doing anything there, though. It's a shame. There. I suppose you are free, so I could move you sort of like... Where would you be most useful? I'll put you towards the back and then have you go in there next turn, maybe. I'll put you there so you start getting your assist. That's what I'll do. And here we are with this. Um, hmm. Okay, you say hello to that Nurgle warrior. So you can't move. I hate doing it, but I'm doing it. And yeah, we don't really... Uh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Get up, Sam! Now, I do have Dauntless, so I... I possible that I can get one dice block on him but a possible one dice block is not fantastic is it and if and that only leaves one player next to him so if you block him then suddenly the beast Nurgle can model back up there so I'm going to leave that as is and just basically hope <laughs> that's that's my plan to hope I mean I do have two people three people next to his um, ball carrier now and that's the key bit four people nice um, so that's, yeah, that's really sweet. I often underestimate sidestep, so that was a block of nothing, so that's quite nice. You are going to go around there and not really do a lot either. These all don't matter, so that's fine. That Nuglory still isn't free. 
because of uh, Jet Li. Am I going to get a two dice block on his uh, ball carrier? Ah, shame. You're doing a great job, Jason. Now he can run up there, but... Yeah. That was what I was trying to prevent. Yeah, and he's down again. And he's stunned again. I can point that out. He manages to break my armor pretty easy, doesn't he? Although I've not been injured, so I can't moan. Yeah, well, he did have block, you know, mighty blown claw. And he's dodged away! Oh, God! Well, I couldn't have predicted that, could I? You know? <sighs> Damn it. I thought that was going really well. I thought that was going really well, and then he goes and pulls a trick like that, doesn't he? I mean, I'm only, like, a dodge away from... from blitzing him. Sadly, you know. Well, I do have a reroll for it. I'm gonna go for it. Nice. We got him. We got him. Gonna pick up the ball. I'm gonna put no because there's only another warriors around there. And I already used... No, I didn't. I was... Mm. No, we'll just see where it goes. Because I can always just do this. Okay. Only thing is... <laughs> um, so... What? How about we go out here? No, I'm not going to not gonna reach him, am I? Um, not going to reach him that way. Where's my other gutter runner? Is he out? Where is he? Where is he? Um, Alright, let's see. We've got, we got one there. And i got one here. Hello? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just think about it. Oh, he got... That's right. That's right, he got injured, didn't he? He was, he was going to die. So is this... Ah, I won't be able to do that, no. Um, I can't stop him. I can't stop him. I can batter this guy. I'm going to do that and make myself feel better. Oh, Mickey. Why? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. No, absolutely not. If I can do that, that would be, like, pretty sweet. And then, you know, suddenly I'm looking pretty good down here. This pesco can just stand up again. <laughs> I just need to stop that guy from blitzing him. Um, and probably the, oh, uh, what skills have you got? Plus one agility, of course. Oh, go on then. That was a lot to ask, he did it. He must be quite annoyed now. Okay, you go down there and play with them guys. And that should give me a one dice block in there. He doesn't have block. I'm going to take it. Oh, my God. I just pushed him towards me. And f maybe, yeah, possibly freed a Pestigore up. So that block didn't go so well. That's not brilliant right there. But uh, no, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> of course, that Pestigore can just blit. Uh, he hasn't. Okay. I would have done that if I was his player because he gets plus one strength for that. He's dodged a rotter away, which I'm going to say was, you know, reasonably... On the lucky side. Uh, that's okay. That's good. Nerve-wracking match, i got to say. Nerve-wracking. Why don't you blitz there? Oh, you're blitzing... There. Okay. Damn. Hmm. But all these guys have moved. He doesn't really have anyone else who can get the ball. Whereas I do. So things are still okay for... Oh, hang on. Things are not so good now. Tenacious enemy. Oh, really stupid. Thank you. Why? Plus one strength. Plus one bloody strength. Alright, hang on. Put you there. Might as well stand you up. 
sorry. Uh, I might as well see if you can stand up. You can, okay, that's really nice. But I've got a Dauntless, and it's a one dice block at least if I don't get that 3+. plus. Which I didn't, and it's important. And he's down. And we missed the ball. Although, hello. Um, you get the ball. Where the hell am I going to go with it, though? <laughs> Where am I going to go with the ball? <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Um... Mm, that's plus one strength. He's surrounded by three people it's, and, and he still only gets the one block. Uh, yeah. I could get the ball, which I'm, I'm going to do. I'll get the ball. You know what? I might just run down here with it. I might just run down there with it. <laughs> Try and get the hell away. Because um, I am getting out strength, outmatched. And everything else in between. If I run down there and lose it, you know, obviously I've done him a huge favour there. Whereas if I run up here and keep it, I'm in a good position. But where the hell would I go? No. Where? <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> go and get the ball first. Yeah? Okay, good. Thank you. Alright, so at least I did that bit. So if I move down there, I could always go for it twice. But if I if I fall on my ass, then obviously the ball is just free down here. Um, if I run over here, there's that guy. I'm gonna go where he can't reach me. I reckon if I go here, the thing is, if you knock me down, it all relies on him staying on his feet, and he's not adept at that because he doesn't have do uh, dodge. I can always move you down here, which of course doesn't really help with my chances of scoring a touchdown because, but I'm going to have to, except he didn't. And of course if I did that, I wouldn't be able to move down here anyway. So maybe staying there is the best idea. Yes, I think I'll just stay there. I've got the ball with a guy he can't really knock down very easily. He's moved his Beast of Nurgle right next to him, which doesn't really help. And now he's blitzing with a Nurgle Warrior who's going to kick his ass. But apart from that, everything's going great. Okay, you, there you go. And I can pass it out here. And my, my Gutter Runner's still up there. I left him up there on purpose, obviously, so I can you know, keep that there. Man! Okay, well done, actually. <laughs> just as I said, you don't really stay on your feet very well. He does just that. Um, hello. It can indeed, though you did. I didn't cross through one, and it's the only dodge I've failed. Okay, now I have a whole bunch of players over here doing nothing. Um, yeah, you've moved next to him. That's probably the first dodge you've ever failed, Nick. So I could pass it to him. But tackle zones everywhere. I need to get my players back, basically. I need to get them down here as quickly as possible. Hmm. I mean, that's tempting. Blitz him down there and get Arnie in the fray again. I mean, the only way to get Arnie to properly move anywhere is to blitz with him. That's why I do it so often. And it's a, you know, it's a shame because other players could really do with it. Sort of thing. Okay, move, move the other players first. Move the other players first. Now all these guarding players are kind of wasted in this situation because they're not behind the ball. Go on, Annie. Of course, he's got a foul appearance, which will probably just screw someone over, but I'm going to blitz that one. I'm going to have to try it. No. Arnie, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Alright, now you dodged. I can't really get anything here at all. Get a one dice block against that Nega War I want because of these guarding players. I can try and dodge... What? Okay, I didn't think that would work. That's that's interesting. 
Um, I need to, oh god, um, ah well he's just going to get blitzed, but, 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 it's away from this guy. Uh, and I got people down here. Do you have block? You do. Oh god, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, hang on. Doing stuff I don't want to do here. Nice. Okay. So that only leaves him. Which is bad enough, but he doesn't have block or tackle. And I have block and dodge. So the chances of him knocking him down are slim. They're there, but they're slim. So, yeah. Thanks, Annie. Um, oh, God. It's like... Okay, he's just moved. He's just moving. He's just moving. He's going to block with somebody else. And he didn't do it because he tried to dodge. Oh, my God. We're so excited. Uh, ooh, Hello. Alright, that's going to happen. Is it going to happen now? Yes, it's going to happen now. Ha, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> okay, I've scored again. Oh, man. Um, uh, you get up there and help him. What the hell? I just need to stop bad things happening down here, because I've used my apothecary. So I, I want to, you know, obviously get in his way. Like that. And I want to do some nice blocks, but I don't want to... You know, get myself hurt. So put you there, down there, and that stops you getting a block on him. Um, so, what other blocks are we going to suffer here? Oh, no, 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 no. Just want to stop him blocking me, basically. That's my plan now is to stop him from blocking me. Uh, do I have another blitz to do? Apart from, with, I suppose I could try and get that guy off the pitch. But no. Um, so I don't need to blitz to get the two dice there. Because I can just move you here. I can move you here. Oh, hang on, I got an idea. Um, and that's two dice there. Which is just a push. Which I, that's alright actually, because I've really just got him out strength. And I will move up. And then that leaves you free to blitz him. And it was just a stun. But I don't mind, it's just a stun. It's, you know, it's alright. And yeah, so he's got the, that on your block. So, it's his last turn. Uh, he's got one block to make and one blitz, obviously. He's decided to go against him. And that was just a push. So, I think I can say it now. Uh, maybe. Just a minute. I'll say it later. I'll just say it in a little bit. Hang on. i got something to say, but I'll say it in a little while. We have made it through this match without serious injury, which is pretty goddamn amazing, I gotta say, because of all the plus one, you know, strengths and mighty blows and everything going on. Yeah, wow. Pretty pleased with that. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Uh, let's, uh, oh, sh uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, hang on. One. Oop, no. Nope. Got one block. Which yet? Two red skulls. No, okay. It was almost two red skulls. I almost deserved that. You know, I mean, it, well, yeah. Okay, let's just go and end the bloody match. What a match! That was a lot more interesting that last half than what I expected it would be, and I think I played that damn well. I gotta say. That was uh, well played by me. This roundup's going to be pretty quick because I've, I've got to go out and do something. But uh, I won't re-roll that. So instead of that, I I made yeah I made ten grand off that match. How generous! Um, most valuable player for them uh, went to that dude who did nothing. And for us, it was Arnie. <laughs> Which is fair enough, I suppose. You know, he did all right. Uh, the replay shows that. Everything was for us. But yeah, one injury, which is pretty pretty freaking amazing. As far as stats go, pretty slim on the ground, as you might have expected. But Arnie got his star player. Nicholas Cage got a touchdown, so Jason Statham. And Mila got her throw. Um, so that's quite nice. But we were never going to get many injuries in that match. So there we go. Uh, we had the ball for... Yeah, it was pretty even all around, really. All about 50%. 
Good match. Enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. So, there we go. Thank you for watching. That was Blood Bowl against the Nurgle. And as we can see in the rankings, we are storming ahead with the Dwarves. Um, Nurgle are uh, one two, lost two. So, it's all between the Skaven and the Dwarves. And we may play them next time. Who knows? And I don't like Dwarves because they have a lot of block and they have a lot of tackle. And they have a Death Roller. But, you know... We might be playing them next. We'll have to play them eventually, and that's going to be a very tough match. But let's not worry about that. Let's just revel in our victory, and uh, I'll see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. Toodaloo.